How you doing gamers? My name is Roll Easy. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, we have a brand new car out today. I'm sure you've seen a few reviews, but I'm going to review the hell out of it myself because I almost never buy super or sports cars. I really don't care for them, but this one's a bit unique. I'm not going to lie. Uh, the Wagner, I really did love, and this one did catch my eye as well. So we're going to go purchase it at Legendary Motorsport right now. Uh, there it is, the Ocelot XA21. Read the description right now. Don't even worry about anything else. To those who argue that the supercar is dead, a hybrid tech was only a fad. The XA21 would like a world as soon as it's done banging your mom. <laughs> and when you're done saying thank you, it'll show you the kind of annihilating performance that can only be or that can only be achieved by locking a team of world-class engineers in the lab for six months and lacing their food with amphetamines. <laughs> this is the cutting edge, and you're welcome. <laughs> Yo, that is the best description I've ever seen. But yeah, this car costs $2.3 million. It's going to break the bank for sure, but if you guys have been following my channel for the last two weeks since the beginning, you should have a lot of money if you've been duping cars, man. We've had the greatest solo glitches out there for a while, all right? So that was the purchase, and uh, I'm actually going to now drive over to the garage once it gets delivered. Uh, guys, don't forget to uh, slap that like button, you know, hit the blue thumbs up. Press the red subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on post notifications. You got to turn on post notifications, all right? It's the only way you're going to be notified when I come out with any more fresh and informative dope content, all right? I like these reviews. I like it when the tunables get updated. So let's see. But this is all going to be all about the Ocelot, honestly. Really not about much else. All right. So as you can see, I've been selling my dupes in here. I only got one left, but I actually sell every other day now, you know, since I don't really need the money that much and I don't want to be flagged by Rockstar. But this is the car, man. Check this thing out. This thing is a beast, all right? It looks sexy as fuck. If you look at the top speed, if you look at the acceleration, it is up there, man. Like, take a look at that back end. Take a look at the front. It looks amazing. And I got the volume up here so you guys can actually hear what it sounds like when it's driving. Just listen to that roar, man. That, oh, that thing sounds nice. Usually, I don't even care for the sports or supercars. I'm not going to lie. Like, a lot of people are obsessed with the X80. I think it's okay. But the Wagner was awesome. It's a, especially a good race car. But this thing looks mean. This thing looks nice. It's everything all combined together. Excuse my shitty driving. But I was, it was like 6 in the morning, man, when I recorded this. This is crazy. But I really do enjoy this thing. Even stock. And take a look at that. It has an active spoiler. You saw that? The spoiler actually raised up by itself when you go up in speed, when you accelerate. Watch as I slow down and I get over to uh, to Los Santos Customs and everything. I mean, right now I'm just kind of driving, just, you know, just kind of testing this baby out. Because this thing, you saw that? The spoiler starts going down. It's down right now. Now it's going to raise up. There you go. It's raising up. Yeah, that's a really cool feature. It might be small, but that is a cool feature, and I can dig it, all right? That is really nice. And the look of it is just, it's mean but classy, you know? So yeah, sounds great, looks great. Uh, I'm actually gonna just fast you. forward here through all the customization because there's quite a bit to be honest. Uh, they're they're subtle for the most part, but you're gonna see how I turn this thing into a beast. All right. So yeah, as I'm fast forwarding, I put my crew color there as the secondary color. I recommend that. Put some black or something, you know, whatever your other favorite color is. You got the trim color inside that really helps. Uh, yeah, the back. Oh my God, the mufflers, man! You gotta, you gotta check out the mufflers that you can put on the back of this thing. They're all really cool looking. So, after that, I did all that. Now I wanted to show you guys a little bit of a glitch. All right, I looked at the rims and I was like, oh, I don't really like these. This is the change the stock wheel color uh, glitch. You need your iFruit app on your phone. All right, so you just gotta go to wheels. Uh, over here in the game and you got to pick any sort of stock wheels like that that you can put you know color on and then you're gonna go ahead and pick your color now you need your iFruit app on your phone or your tablet because after we pay for this and you know I pick a color that I want I think I land on the bright blue yeah the bright blue the, fl the fluorescence too too fluorescent I guess but the bright blue seems to work really nice so I ended up picking that one and uh, and yeah now you can just exit out and when you go outside you're gonna want to open your iFruit app basically all right i think yeah what did i forget custom tires i don't think i think it kind of messes it up unless you want to treat this as a race car but i'll get into that in a little bit and uh make sure to do your tire smoke you know do the full effect paid for the wrong one there yeah crew smoke there we go black and blue baby that thing looks good all right so what you're gonna do now now that you drive it out and you have your uh 
your stock, you know, other stock wheels there with the with the color that you want. I'm going to my iFruit app right now on my phone, and I'm basically picking this car on my save list, you know. And um, once I pick it, you can order car parts and stuff there. All you got to do is press on the stock wheels, stock rims on the on the iFruit app. Once you press on stock rims, go ahead and order it. Once you have ordered it, you're gonna have to wait a little bit. I think at this point, I've already ordered it. And I'm actually waiting at the moment for the uh, for the text to come in. For some reason, it took a little while. Usually, those texts come in right away. But there we go. Drop by Los Santos Customs to have your XA21 order fulfilled. So that's all I did. I just went into the iFruit app and ordered the stock rims and uh, and pressed order. That is all I did. So now we're driving it back in here. This is just a neat little glitch, you know, just something to add to uh, to the new car. So you process your app order. It's only going to cost me 2800 and check that out. I got the stock rims and they got those that blue color that I had on the other one there. You can't get that anyway else. This is a glitch. All right, you can't color the stock rims like that come with the car like that. It does not work that way. So there we go. Now that thing looks complete. So if any of you guys really want to, you know, take advantage of your crew colors or whatever colors, you know, you guys really like, check that out. It's like the front, you know, the face of it is still black, but the insides of the rims are all blue, which I think is a neat touch. Look at that front end. You know, you got the little blue trim everywhere. You got the blue on the uh, on the rear view mirrors, on the back end, on the top right there, uh, the tips of the mufflers. Man, this thing is really nice looking. I'm not going to lie. And it doesn't look that crazy without the spoiler up. But yeah, once the spoiler comes up while you're driving, it turns into a whole other car. But now I want you guys to really listen to it, all right? Like, listen to how mean this thing looks, fully upgraded. I'm going to start driving. And just ahead of time, excuse the driving. It was 6 in the morning. I had no sleep. Um, one thing I can say about this car is it is fast, very fast. The handling is not bad at all. The, the weird thing about the handling, and I heard Boom Tango say this as well, the handling, I couldn't really put my finger on it, what was different about it, but it seems like it's almost a four-wheel drive car, you know, and, and like every wheel seems to be incorporated into the handling of it. It's just, it doesn't really whip like, well, it does whip, but it's just different. I don't know, it's hard to explain. I'm not huge on cars, but this thing is very unique. As you can see, I was just showing you guys the trim color in here. The interior looks amazing, but yeah, this thing is mean, sounds mean, looks mean, and it drives like a dream. Uh, when it comes to racing, I do think if you're a big racer, the Wagner might still, you know, top it in that uh, regard. It just, it takes corners really nice, you know, if you if you learn really how to drift with it, not bad at all. Uh, but, you know, like anything else, you can be good at, you know, drifting and racing at this car, you know, and it's, it's all preference, really. But I do think most people that do race in this game, uh, hardcore, they're gonna like the, yeah, look at that. With the crew smoke, yeah, that thing looks awesome. I'm really, I'm definitely keeping this car. I am not selling it or duping over it or anything like that. This car is freaking awesome. And uh, yeah, guys, I really do think this is worth the buy at 2.3 million plus probably another three or four hundred thousand dollars worth of upgrades you gotta put in it to max it out. It's a, it's a hefty price. You're spending almost three mil, you know, two and a half to 2.6 mil, uh, you know, getting this car. But if you have the money, I'd say buy it. Why not? You know, if you got space in your garage and you got the money and you've been duping cars, get this. It's a really nice car. It's fun. I usually don't recommend many cars. The Night Shark was the only one. I was trying to do my 360 test here. So you can see right there, it doesn't whip as easy as I wanted it to, but I still did get the full 360 going. And uh, yeah, so final verdict really good handling in its own way so it's very unique handling it's not for everybody to me i do love it as a street car driving it around you know the city and stuff not in real races or impromptu races i think it's amazing all right i will definitely be driving this thing a lot more and that's big to say of me because i usually take my oppressor everywhere i go so i would definitely recommend buying this really cool car looks great sounds great i i can't really think of much you know negative negative things to say about it all right, guys, that's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review. Uh, this is the Ocelot XA21. And, yeah, hit that blue thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on post notifications so you can get informed about the dope content. Peace.